All right, we are going to learn. Let me get these cards out. Um, so yes, let's see what is in the cards for you today. Um, you know the moon was in Gemini last night. I didn't double check to see if it was still in Gemini. We'll find out. Um, but, uh, yeah, definitely, like, all the planets are not in retrograde until April 21st. So, a lot of, um, a lot of growth is going to happen in this time, or a lot of progression on your path. You know, you don't really have things, like, holding you back. Um, you know, you're feeling less, like, bound to, like, the past or, like, karmic soul ties, those kind of things. It's like the energy of releasing um, anything that holds you back, really. So let's see. You've done this before, right? So this is having, like, you could be having dreams, visions, um, deja vu, um, epiphanies that really tie you to past life regression, right? That really tie you to remembering things from before. You could have soul memories in regards to friendships where you're like, I've known this motherfucker for 80 million lifetimes, you know? And then with the seven star sister, this really tells me that you're really connecting with people that you've known from before, right? These uh, soul ties. And not all soul ties are negative and not all of them are positive. I would like to throw that out there. Uh, but this is in regards to birthing creations, a tapestry of life and expression through these connections. Sorry, I'm not trying to show my cleavage. Um, all my shirts happen to be cleavage shirts and I'm not trying to do that. Um, but... <laughs> Yeah, so, basically, though, with the Seven Star Sisters, this is you um, collaborating, even spending time talking with people that you've known for several lifetimes. So, we're going to go down the rabbit hole. Wonderland cards. Um, So we have the Hermit, Virgo energy, with the Six of Wands in reverse. So, with the Hermit being the first card out, this being kind of your energy of like, you might be taking time for yourself, or you might find yourself like wanting to be less social at this time. With the Six of Wands in reverse, it's almost like... You're not seeking, like, attention or acknowledgement or really trying to, like, it's like you're not really trying to get in the spotlight. Um, you're kind of somebody, you might even be introverted, um, naturally. This is, like, you're, you're just kind of, like, comfortable, um, just kind of sharing your own light, right? Being, you know, this isn't, like, you know, you it looks to me like you're just not somebody who needs a lot of external validation because you validate yourself, right? That's ultimately what I'm saying here. So, who are the seven star sisters? The 
at this. There's a lot of cards. All right, Jane. So, with the Four of Cups in reverse and the Ace of Pentacles here, it looks like you receive an offer, right? Ace of Pentacles could be in regards to a job offer. Um, and with the Four of Cups in reverse, you know, Four of Cups is usually the energy of rejecting an offer. But Four of Cups in the uh, reverse is like saying that you take this opportunity, right? With the Six of Swords in reverse, this could indicate that you probably had to leave like a job to go to this one or whatever the case but it looks like leaving one situation and going on to the next um with the temperance in reverse uh sagittarius energy i feel like this was very fast moving right especially with the knight of swords taking action very quickly um because temperance is all about like slowing down and waiting for divine timing. But with temperance being in reverse, I feel like this is very quick, right? Like not having to wait, not having, it's kind of like saying you've waited for a while for like certain outcomes and now like the wait is over, right? Four of Wands. This talks about our house, right? Our long-term commitments. This talks about like building strong foundations for ourselves. And I feel like a lot of your focus could be in this right now um getting your house in order like and this could be even your spiritual house right where you're you know focusing on yourself a bit and you're like really tapping into like what it is that you want to do in the long term what kind of goals you want to pursue um you know those kinds of things with knight of wands in reverse and the ten of wands in reverse um you could be ending communication with somebody here with the ten of wands in reverse it's like this whatever whomever you're ending communication with it seems like they were a big burden on you right like in the ten of wands in the upright is like carrying a burden something that like slows you down on your path something that really um stifles your growth um and by ending communication with them i feel like that's what triggers this like fast movement in this new direction right with the eight of pentacles in reverse and the tower in reverse i feel that this is work related there's a lot of pentacles here unless you're dealing with a, uh an earth sign right because the virgo card did come out as the first card so that is a possibility um but with the eight of pentacles in reverse it's like associated with the ten of wands in reverse letting go of a job that wasn't working or letting go of something that wasn't working eight of pentacles in reverse means something wasn't working or you no longer wanted to do a certain kind of work or whatever but the tower in reverse this leads to your rebirth right or rebuilding of your life um restructuring of your life um you can expect a lot of changes a lot of Things that you previously probably didn't even think were possibilities in your life. Um, Yeah, Seven of Pentacles tells me that you pursue a new path in regards to work. Um, Eight 
Eight of Wands in reverse. Tells me that you didn't feel like you had a lot of support where you were, or you didn't feel like there was a lot of teamwork or team effort there. It felt like a lot of weight was on your shoulders, a lot of responsibilities that you felt like you probably weren't getting paid enough for, right? <laughs> You're like, what the hell? Um, and we have the Page of Pentacles. Here comes this offer, right? Having the Knight of Pentacles and the Page of Pentacles really tells me that, like, you do receive, or not the Knight of Pentacles, the Ace of Pentacles, sorry, and the Page of Pentacles tells me that you could receive more than one offer in regards to a new, um, a new job. Um, with the Chariot, Cancer energy, I love this showing up in your reading, this tells me also that you choose to move forward with this, right? The Chariot card represents relocating in regards to work, home, or travel, you know? But it is the energy of moving forward. And also, I see you see how this guy has his binoculars and he's looking right at Alice. It's kind of like, you may not realize it, but you're getting uh, notice in your, the professional realm right you're you're being acknowledged for like your abilities or your strengths um also i just noticed this but alice has a pentacle in her hand on the on the train which tells me that in her little coin purse right next to her and it's kind of like you're looking at this new opportunity that you've just accepted as you're as you're moving forward and you know, you're paying attention to, like, how this is going to help you grow and reach that four of wands, like, that, um, ultimate life that you envision for yourself, right? Uh, so, let us see what the colleague deck has to say for you. of Kali. You're being offered a spiritual gift from the Divine Mother. Your path need not be one of endless exertion. Connecting with pleasure as a path of personal empowerment intending to bring spiritual benefits to the collective through the softening and opening of your heart is an act of worshiping the Divine Feminine. Let yourself receive her loving gifts. So this is kind of like saying like an opportunity is going to show up for you where you realize that you can actually enjoy what you do and do something that helps many people, right? Uh, it helps the collective, whatever the case is. Um, and, it, and it's something that you enjoy doing, right? This could be in regards to your natural talents, you know, pursuing a new uh, business idea, even perhaps finding an investors and choosing to like carve your own path in that way. Whatever the case is, I do see you like growing in a, in a direction that gives you more fulfillment, right? Or makes you feel uh, more in alignment with your sense of purpose. So don't be afraid to accept something that feels pretty amazing as an opportunity, right? <laughs> uh, yeah, that's pretty much what I have for you. Namaste. I love you guys. I'll catch you later.